Alright, farming bunker. Need to get an OP1 bitch for my wife. This is week three of the uh, Borderlands 2 loot drop increases or whatever uh, Gearbox was doing there. Last week was terrible. Didn't really get anything. I think my wife and I played all day Sunday. Uh, like literally all day Sunday. We, uh, we got a legendary class mod off of a tubby and we killed Bunker and the Warrior quite a few times and the Warrior dropped one flacker. So last week was like your typical day in Borderlands. Not getting nothing. At least in my experience. Uh oh. Uh, week one though, man, we pulled a lot of legendaries out of week one. That was a lot of fun. So, oh, cheers. We were f playing a lot more. We were farming a lot more. We got really got back into it quite a bit. I mean, we're we finished our UVHM run so that we could do all the DLC, and we're doing. We got OP1 unlocked from Digitruck Peak, so we're doing uh, Scarlet's DLC right now on OP1, and then we'll probably upgrade to OP2 and probably do Tiny Tina's and so on and so forth. <coughs> kind of see, I mean, it, it really depends on the gear we get, though, too. Oh, that's cool. Max that money. Um, you know, I'm not going to go on OP8 but not have any gear to support her, right? So, I mean, right now, this is OP1, and um, OP1 farming bunker, he goes down in, like, 8 seconds. So it's not too bad. Tiny Tina's is going to be tricky, I imagine, even on OP2. But we're, uh, we'll give her a go. I don't care about a sham, I've got... Gear-wise, I'm wearing the B right now, but I have a 72 sham. It's not the best percent, but it works pretty good. What did I pick up? That's dumb. Uh, for gear here, I'm using uh, non-quested uh, grog. It's evisceration, but I uh, got a 71 DPUH. I just, I mean, I could go get a 72 whenever out of the machines. I just haven't. I didn't really need to. I'll probably get an OP1 maybe this weekend or something. I got the Orphan Maker. I haven't really used it much. Got it uh, last night on uh, Tiny Tina's like 850% weapon damage. It's got two flavor techs. I, d I don't know what they mean. And I got two for Maggie, a really low one, but I like the Maggie. Definitely need to upgrade the Maggie. I have to go farm his AFOD. But my wife's raw favorite weapon is the bitch, and I think the one she has is like a 63. Or something like that. I mean, it's <laughs> surprisingly, it still works. I mean, we're doing Oasis on Overpower 1, and I mean, she's still doing good with it with her Siren. But, uh, I mean, obviously, we gotta replace it. Gats to replace it, and I wasn't in the mood for farming last week. The drop rate sucks so much, so. It's supposed to be better this week. Somebody was saying, I seen on Reddit this morning, they're saying, oh, uh, they farmed a few bosses, but they killed, like, some boss, like, six times and got three legendaries out of it, so. Either R and Jesus was on their side, or the drop rates have increased. I've been filling out the surveys and saying, hey, I want more more drop rates for legendaries. But it keeps us playing, you know. I haven't killed any of the uh, Seraph bosses on uh, at all. Uh, on UVHM, so we haven't gonna have any Seraph weapons. But that is to come. I mean, we just started Oasis on uh, Ultimate Vault Hunter, so. Uh, 
Uh, this is probably my 10th or 12th bunker kill. I have not gotten what I needed. I think I got, got that. I like that for slagging, um, the homing slag. Because it, it also steals health, keeps me alive. Just like the Grog, and it's overpower one. So I think that's like my only OP one here right now. I'm rocking a 60 a class mod. It's a good class mod, though. I mean, doesn't the level doesn't really matter. And uh, Sheriff's Badge. I need a new Sheriff's Badge. We killed... I actually just got that one uh, before we finished UVHM. And it was in the first week of the increased uh, drop rates for rare loot. We killed... We did uh, this just in for the first time on UVHM. Went out... Hunter Hellquist drops uh, B first first time round, and I mean B's not terribly difficult to get, but he dropped it the first try. I was like, oh, all right, like this is the kind of drop rates I like. I like to, I, you know, you know, I don't want to be disappointed the whole time I'm playing the game, right? And uh, so then we went on. What were we doing? Oh, we were doing the. Uh, Come on, Bunker. Bunker! I cannot. I cannot do this all day. Are you coming to play now, Bunker? Yeah, you. Yeah, you're going down now. So, well, I think this is OP1, and I'm only like. And he just. dies. I mean, it's not hard. It's not a hard boss, but. Anyway, we were doing the, uh, the kill a hundred bandits, I got stuck there. So we went over to Lynchwood, because, you know, bandits galore. And I, we got the quest done, and I was like, let's go kill Nisha and see if it drops Sheriff Badge. Drops the Sheriff Badge first, uh, first shot. I was like, it was a pretty good day for the drop. So that was a 66. Obviously, I need a new one, but the nice guy that I am, gotta outfit the, the wife first. She never farms on her own. She'll farm with me. She likes farming. If she's with me, she never does it on her own. But so, I mean, I can always go get a share switch. I hear a robot. Robot. Oh yeah. What do we got? What do we got? Get down here. What more? Somewhere. I don't know. Whatever. Let's see what we got. Uh, nice e tech. Uh, maxed on money, so I'm not picking up anything. That's a nice plasma caster. I will take it. See if wife wants it. I will take iridium though. This weapon's gonna hide so easily. Listen, robot. Way down there. Yeah. yeah, I'm always super careful. Alright, there's nothing here. Wait, what was that? I thought I saw something. Ah, uh, it's health. Check the chest and restart. Cool white's awesome. My favorite. No time. No, thank you. Bunker's not very generous with his legendary loot, <laughs> as anyone who's farmed him before knows. But I've actually pulled a lot of legendaries out of that loot chest. So we got that two for Maggie. I 
I haven't replaced it because I really just don't use it that much. It's like, <laughs> it's like offhand to offhand. It's a beast gun, but the DPUH with the grog is just OP city. Believe it or not, in all my years of Borderlands 2 playing, have never pulled a legendary out of a machine on Borderlands 2. Yeah, I mean TPS. I think I've seen them, but TPS legendaries were a little easier to come by. But they were there was only like what five in the game. I don't know. I'm obviously, an exaggeration, but it didn't seem like it seemed like there really wasn't that much. Ow! Ow! Oh, Warloader, stepping up your game. Game. Game is stepping up its game. The beauty about the Grog is anything shooting at me right now. The Grog just keeps me alive as long as I'm firing that bunker. There we go. Blazers. Stop it. Stop it, lasers. Hey! Oh, shoot. Yo, bunker's behind me. Hey, buddy. He's down. Lasers. Parkour is just not my thing. Okay. Let's grab the money, even though I'm maxed on money. Um, just because I don't want to confuse it with a legendary. My boys got supplies for you. Look for the buzzard with the white beacon. Get up top by the waterfall. We're sending you ammo. Nothing? And... Nothing. Man, we're getting no luck. I don't know. Drop prints don't seem any better, but bunker's kinda hard to gauge. It's easier to gauge it off the warrior, in my opinion. I mean, every second or third kill in my experience, I've gotten a legendary off the warrior. Oh, fucking too good. Yeah, it's worth lots of money. Oops. Oh, wife's home. Well, we didn't get much. Maybe we'll try again another day. Thanks everyone for watching, and we'll see you again.